we have kind of come to a week wherein the nifty saw a good amount of up move in fact we have closed at a level of around 11035 the first time since 21st of september 2018 that the nifty has kind of moved past the 11000 mark now what that really means for us we have to look at it with a variable perspective the first being that after almost 25 weeks we have crossed the 11000 mark which is a positive in itself simultaneously for the last 18 odd weeks we have seen that the nifty has kind of volatilized in between a level of 11000 on the higher side and around 10500 on the lower side list the intermediate arbitrations that had kind of happened and post that we are seeing that the nifty has shown some strength now a lot of geopolitical tensions are behind us and that would certainly indicate that the bulls are in power here more so since the broader markets have really outperformed the benchmark nifty as you must have seen that the best performer for last week in terms of the indices was the nifty small cap 100 which moved up by close to around 4% whereas the nifty kind of moved up by around 1.6% also to note that the mid cap index too has done well and it has kind of moved up close to around 3% for the week now there is a very fine balance that we are seeing with the heavyweight sectors so this uh, the week gone by has seen that uh, the heavyweights like energy and the financial services have performed very well vis-a-vis -vis the IT and the FMCG pack which are predominantly the defensives have kind of taken the back seat now these two defensives in itself were the leaders over last two weeks and therefore it indicates that a fine balance is in place especially in terms of the heavyweight sectors which constitute the nifty now these four sectors put together constitute around 56 percent of the index and therefore it surely shows some strength on the intrinsic value coming back to the levels 11,380 would be the level to watch out for on the higher side which corresponds to the Fibonacci extension of the earlier fall that we have seen from a level of around 11,700 down till 10,000. So like I mentioned we would be playing bulls here with a target somewhere around the 11,380 mark and the stop loss placed at a level of around 10,817 which is the lowest point that the nifty made last week as mentioned earlier we would be looking at sectors which are performing and therefore we would like to go with the like of petronet which is a part of the energy sector and has closed at a level of around 234 the upsides here would be to the tune of around 248 to 250 on the higher side while maintaining a stop loss at level of around 226 Simultaneously within the financial sector pack we would be going long in Axis Bank once again we are reiterating our buy here it has kind of closed at an all time high and on the upside the level to watch out for Axis Bank would be around 775 to 780 while on the lower side we maintain a stop loss at 715. So I hope the bulls kind of bring cheer to everybody of you as we get into a week which would be certainly full of momentum. Thank you for joining us.